Hey guys, what's up? This is Evan from Stock Music Musician, and I'm happy to announce that Reason 10.3 is here. Reason 10.3 is the long-awaited performance update that's supposed to not only make VST plugins run better in Reason, it's also just supposed to make Reason run better in general. Um, before we go any further, though, I want to say that it doesn't add anything else to Reason. No new features, no new compatibility, no support, nothing additional, just speed. Uh, so before we figure out how it does that, I just wanted to let you know that I put together a free sample pack just to celebrate this. So there's a link down below if you want to get those samples. Um, have fun with them. Uh, now let's dig into how I experienced this new update. For me, I saw very significant updates in terms of speed for my 2015 MacBook Pro. Now, first thing I did is I opened up some old projects that were really demanding on my processor and that would barely play or that wouldn't quite play and those played very smoothly. So that's great. But then I wanted to figure out how much extra headroom I was getting and so I put together a very unscientific process for figuring out how much faster Reason 10.3 is on my MacBook Pro compared to Reason 10.2. So the first thing I did was I loaded up the VST that gives my computer the most problems and I figured out how many instances of it could run in Reason 10.2. So I put together a Rex loop, just a simple Rex drum loop, and then on top of that I stacked a bunch of Ozone 7s. For me that's a plugin that really melts my CPU. So I wanted to see how Reason 10.2, 10.3 handled it. Well first I did it for Reason 10.2 to benchmark it, and my computer could use six instances of Ozone 7 before it started to crackle. When I loaded a Reason 10.3, my computer could do 14 to 15 instances of Ozone 7 before it started to crackle. Um, it, was, it would depend on the weather, but uh, that's about 130% improvement for VST performance, or at least for Ozone 7 performance on my computer. Um, no other effects were on in my channel. There was a limiter on the master bus, um, a Dr. Rex, and 15 to 14 Ozone 7s. Um, I was also using 512 samples. So the next thing I wanted to see is how much improvement you got for just regular rack extensions built into Reason. So what I did is I opened up the Audiomatic, which has been, in my experience, one of the more demanding uh, rack extensions. And in Reason 10.2, I could use 28 Audiomatics um, on that Rex loop before it started to get all crackly and crunchy. And in Reason 10.3, I'm able to use 37 Audiomatics. So that's about a 35% improvement. So I would say this is significant on all levels and that, you know, my test is not scientifically accurate or valid. It's just what I've experienced personally on my computer. But I would say that you should really consider downloading Reason 10.3 if you've been frustrated with the experience of Reason 10 or Reason 10.2. Um, because this, this, this wasn't just lip service, it was very noticeable performance. And I would say if you liked Reason but you were just frustrated by the performance of VSTs, you've got to download it. If you gave Reason a try previously and were frustrated by it, I think what I, I read that Propellerheads reset um, their 30-day trial. So you can go to Propellerheads and get a new trial just to see if now the performance is more in line with what you were expecting. So to sum up, Reason 10.3. Real, significant, massive VST performance gains. Also very noticeable rack extension and default device gains. Nothing else added, but a really good and needed update that sets the foundation for future Reason growth. Looking forward to see what they come out with next. I hope you enjoyed this. For more great reason news and tips, be sure to like and subscribe. Ding that bell. Thank you.